Well, this is one of the most anticipated matches of the entire tournament, I think. Can you believe, Sean, this is the first time ever that Leandro Lowe and Jackson Souza have faced off in the black belt division. I know, I can't believe that. Like, How no. have these guys never faced each other before? <laughs> I have no idea. Now, this is Jackson's first match of the entire tournament wow. as well. The seed in the brackets placed him and his teammate Arnaldo Maidana into the um, into the, 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 the opening round, which was a, uh, a second qualifying round. And uh, Arnaldo was on the B team for Checkmat. Yeah. And of course, Jackson is, a, is a definitely one of the, the most prominent members of Checkmat. And so he was on the A squad with the priority and the seeding. That put him directly into the quarterfinal with uh, a gentleman's agreement. Leandro had a, an opening match yesterday against Dominic Bell of Atos, won that by points. Don't forget, of course, that Le Leandro also fought through to the finals of the Absolute Division. Yeah. You can see all those matches off lowgrappling.com. Highly recommend checking some of those out. Vintage Leandro. But right now, Jackson Souza. Energetic start against Leandro Lowe, putting the pressure on from this passing position here. Stylistically, uh, Jackson Souza presents some problems for Lowe. As, I, I, as long as he can avoid being swept here. The, the, this is where uh, I think Lowe could uh, make an impact on the guard pole. If he can get up on points, um, that might present some problems. But stylistically, well, Jackson's explosive style, it can present some problems for Lowe. Of course, this is a heavyweight division match. Leandro has... Oh, oh there's a <laughs> beautiful move. You mentioned the explosiveness of Jackson Souza there. And right on cue, Sean. <laughs> the moment they disengaged for a second, I think Leandro thought he was clear. And Jackson just put in him on notice, hey, don't blink. Yeah. Because he can pass the guard that quick. Leandro maybe saved a little bit as they went out of bounds there. This is definitely taking the pace of the match up a bit. You know, this is classic Leandro right here. We've seen him do this. You know, he used to be so well known for playing that that spider guard with the opposite side uh, pant yeah. and, uh, and yeah. sleeve grips. But we've been seeing him playing so much of just this hand in the collar using those collar drags from the seated guard position and uh and utilizing a lot more wrestling yeah in, yeah in his game he's really yeah. something that he's implemented the last couple of years i'm wondering as you said sean you know jackson souza his athleticism his strength this is a heavyweight division match whether leandro it's a smart strategy going head to head with jackson in yeah that kind of uh, scenario yeah i think uh jackson Sosa needs to be very smart, use these bursts when he can, uh, stay safe in the scoring scenarios that are strong for low, which are, like you said, that pant grip getting pulled underneath and off balance. Um, and if he does that, he could very well come out the victor of this. Um, I, I, I feel like uh, Sosa's definitely been getting... getting more mature as we've seen him over the last year or two uh, as well. I've, I feel like his game has matured quite a bit. You Starting to know when to use these bursts that he has and when not to. Wow, look at that. Nice low trying to get underneath. Quick hip switch by Sousa. So... Jackson Souza now living and teaching jiu-jitsu in Europe. He's been there for the last couple of years, originally hailing from Rio de Janeiro, the, the famous favela, Cantagallo, Pavel, Pavelzinho, home to some of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners of all time, to be honest with you, Sean. <laughs> it's the incredible how this one tiny, impoverished neighborhood in the middle of downtown Rio de Janeiro right just a stone's throw from the ocean from some of the best beaches in the world and it's produced more high-profile jiu-jitsu fighters than maybe anywhere else you know per 
capita, sort of like per square mile. Um, we're talking about guys, obviously, like legends such as uh, Fernando Terraré is one of the best examples. The, um, the Vieira brothers of, of Checkmat, of course, took so many high-profile uh, athletes from there, developing them from, from just a very, very early age because it's quite common to offer uh, kids the opportunity to train jiu-jitsu for free in social projects in Brazil, especially kids yeah. from the favelas, try and keep them out of trouble, keep yeah. them on the right path. And, uh, and Jackson is incredible how he went from very, very humble beginnings, um, one of, of many children, you know, a single parent family, and how through jiu-jitsu he's able to have a career. He now lives in Europe. He's able to buy his mother a house. And he's able to, uh, to really go on and become a world-class black belt, a phenomenal athlete. Very a really cool. Really inspiring yeah. story. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, Lowe's trying to shoot that leg underneath and this is hit. He's got it really, he scores very well from these scenarios. So this is where Jackson's yeah. gonna have to really mind his P's and Q's. Scooping the leg, got that pant grip set. He's got the spider guard in the opposite side bicep. Ooh, the Andrew just taking a bit of a breather there. You see that? Yeah. Now that's interesting. The Andrew passing it across to the 50 50, electing to come up that way instead of the traditional sweep that he likes from the, yeah. the spider guard. And that's why Leandro's Leandro. He's just found a way to score against a, an athletic Jackson Sosa. It's One thing about amazing, Leandro, man. Sean, and, and you know, this is just something that we've seen from him time and time again. Technically, he doesn't do anything Felipe mystical. Yeah. Technically, he doesn't do anything out of the ordinary. He knows how to win. He knows, right? There's a good shot of it. It's, he knows how to score. He doesn't do 50-50 all the time. He doesn't use this all the time. But he uses it now in the right time and against the right opponent when it counts. And, yep. Very One impressive. of the things I, uh, I think as well about Leandro, it's really important to mention, is I spoke to him yesterday after he uh, fought through into the semifinals of the absolute division where he will where he's lined up to face Marcus Bouchesha later, later today. And I spoke to Leandro, and he told me that, yeah, he really struggled to make a comeback after dislocating his shoulder here at the, the World Championships last year in the final with Muhammad Ali. And um, he had a couple of attempts. He had a super fight with Nicholas Marigali earlier this year. He came back and tried competing at the Pans. It was the first time in about five years that Leandro left without a gold medal from the Pans. I think actually the first time in six years. And Leandro said that, you know, the, the injury had definitely affected his ability to train. So since Pans, he's been training jiu-jitsu twice a day. Mm. He's been doing his strength training. He said he's been training just like he did the very first year that he was a black belt. Wow. He took it all the way back. He's been drilling specific positions. He's been working out. He literally doubled the amount of training that he was doing. I asked him how he felt, and he said, amazing. <laughs> well, he's looked he's looked great this weekend. So, and if you want to see that interview? Of course, you can find it on flowgrappling.com. Toe hold attempt, possibly yeah, maybe yep. from Jackson. Knee bar slash toe hold. I think this has to be. I think. There oh, is. knee bar attempt there for a second from. Oh, another it's still on it is Jackson trying to get belly down, but Leandro manages to spin Ooh. out. Not out of danger yet. Ooh. You know, we don't often see Jackson go for leg attacks. Yeah. And one of the reasons why <clears throat> I think it's fair to say we've seen him get tapped yes. way too many times yes. for it not to be a secret that he doesn't like his feet yes. getting attacked. And, you know, I, I believe one, that I've seen him show right more anyway, wherewithal yeah, as of late with that, and, and maybe two. that's because he's China. been Warren. submitted before and said, hey, I need to start to sharpen up this part of my game. And so, you know, every time you attack for a leg lock, it's, it's quite often that somebody will counter with one of their yeah. own. Yeah. And I'm not sure that you want to get into a battle like that with Leandro, who's <laughs> you know, not, so strong. Yes. Dueling anything with Leandro is probably a bit risky. So Jackson has this right leg in there, trying to separate and make some space for the left leg to come down, the left knee to creep through, but... You see Leandro's grip of the pants at the hip is actually keeping that leg lifted and uh, not going to allow it to get down in there. 
Two and a half minutes remaining, whereabouts. We see actually this uh, in the inset here. This is Leo Vieira, the legendary IBJJF and ADCC world champion, one of the uh, Checkmat founders, along with his brother, uh, Ricardo Vieira. And Leo Vieira coaching Jackson Souza through the last two minutes of this match here, this heavyweight quarterfinal with Leandro Lowe. Now we're in this upside down guard position right here. Yeah. Opportunity for Jackson to attack for the toe hold, but man, do you think he should do that? Or do you think he should just work on that sweep? Because he's up on advantages. Leandro's up 2 0, but if Jackson evens the score 2 2, then, yeah. uh, then he's going to be ahead. So. Yeah. yeah, it's not. He's up by the advantages as you mentioned. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make him go up anymore. But if he can stabilize oh, that, look which, at that, Leandro yeah. so good at just flipping it. As <laughs> yeah. soon as he feels that he's in danger, yeah. right in front of us here in the uh, the commentary box. A minute and a half remaining. Yeah, he rides that turn and just flips right back over and. Was the night not able to stabilize that top position? Something about here at the venue as well, Sean, is that the uh, the teams they all camp out and they have uh, a different part of the of the uh, the bleachers. And uh, right behind <laughs> us, the Checkmat guys, they, they've camped out in this spot the last couple of years yep. running. Yep. And I think that, um, well, they're, uh, they're right up there in the top three rankings <laughs> for the uh, noisiest teams yes. in Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> yeah, they've, they seem to stake their claim every year in the same spot. It's pretty cool. One minute, ten, one minute, ten seconds remaining. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Penalty against Leandro. Huge. Center referee Rodrigo Tocci has decided that Leandro was basically playing the edges too much, running the boundary. Now this puts Jackson Souza ahead. That was a beautiful. Less than a minute remaining. Two minutes. Wow. To, oh, there we go. Leandro taking it up again. Sweep attempt. Almost got him. Coming up on this leg attack position here. Dragging Souza oh, back oh, in. Souza escapes. Can he get goodness. up and out? No oh, sweep points. Goodness. No sweep points. 34 seconds remaining. Jackson Souza just about manages to deny penalty against oh. Jackson Souza for three in the area. Fortune has been reversed. 34 seconds remaining. Four points to two for Leandro Lowe. Now Leandro needs to be careful. He can't stall out here. If he does, this referee has a habit of being quick with those penalties. Leandro pulls close guard. Two seconds remaining. What can Jackson Souza do here? The answer is, to be honest, not much. Yeah, Leandro can done. just Tired. hang on. Yep. Ten seconds left. Doing his best to open that close guard, which is no easy prospect. Two, one. There is the time in this match, Man. Leandro Lowe, dramatic finish. Well, we said it earlier, Sean, he finds a way yep. to win, yep. and that's exactly what happened. Issued a penalty, the less than a minute remaining in the match, down on points, what does he do? Boom, scores back immediately, <laughs> works his ass off yep. to get those two points back and manages <laughs> to win that heavyweight quarterfinal. <laughs> Incredible. Yep. That is champion material right there. That's why he's in Leandro Lowe. In the semifinal, representing Antos Jiu-Jitsu, Kainen Duarte. Absolutely yep. gassed. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Left it all on the mat as Leandro Lowe. And J Jackson Souza looks equally exhausted over there. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's incredibly disappointed too, but you could see that that last two minutes of uh, 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 fighting, they really took it out of both men. Yeah. I mean, what what a technique low hit to start that entire scrambly situation that gave him that two back. Yeah. My goodness. My oh, Leandro goodness. Lowe. Oh, my. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
He's going to need to uh, get as much rest as possible for this next match because he's going to have the winner of uh, of Patrick Gaudio versus Gosh. Vinicius Ferreira. <laughs> so Brazilian champion up against the, the absolute beast that is Patrick Gaudio. You mentioned it earlier wow. about the physicality and the athleticism of Jackson Souza, and uh, and I think that Leandro got a taste of that. Yeah. Incredible performance there from Leandro in managing to claw that.